increased risk of ovarian cancer in women with endometriosis. Now this is not um, something to scare the living life out of you, okay? But these are real facts that you need to be aware of and if your diagnosis is taking a long time, you can use this to help you move yourself through the program, okay? This is not something to alarm you, so please don't take it that way. Now, in terms of endometriosis, that's all we're talking about at the minute, there's an increased risk of ovarian cancer, something like, I think, 1.2 chance of ovarian cancer. Studies have shown that if you've got endometriosis, you do have a higher risk of ovarian cancer. And then there are certain subtypes of that as well. So delaying the diagnosis of treatment, that can be dangerous. And this is where you can use this research to your own end. Because if you are prolonging your exposure to the inflammatory processes, uh, then that gives you the increased risk of the malignancies in this pelvic region or wherever it is that you've got the lesions. Now, obviously, there are things that you can do in your lifestyle to affect that um, inflammatory response, and that's where I come from. Um, but just be aware, if you're trying to get moving through that process, there are things and research that you can use to help you move through faster. So just to give you a bit of background so that you can um, go in and say, okay, this is my situation. Endometriosis in particular, that is characterized by chronic inflammation. So chronic means it's ongoing for a long time. Inflammation, obviously you're inflamed. And that is the risk factor in the development of some of these various cancers. So then this prolonged inflammation exposure, that's how you can, um, or that's what will cause um, these cellular changes and they're the ones that may increase the likelihood of cancerous transformations, okay? So just bear that in mind.